Hi, I'm Rob from b and and today we're going to take a look at the Gaia SH-01 Virtual Analog Synthesizer from Roland. This is a friendly yet powerful synth with a three-tone structure that can deliver some fat sounds. Roland seems to be trying to put some of the interactive fun back into synth programming, and the Gaia SH-01 with all these knobs, faders, and backlit buttons is a keyboard that just begs you to tweak the sounds. It's a three-octave keyboard featuring a joystick for pitch bend and modulation control, as well as Roland's D-beam control for extra expression. The keyboard is velocity sensitive, but typical of keyboards in this range, there's no aftertouch. The layout recalls the vintage SH series synths of yesterday to the point where there's no information screen, which I found rather refreshing, actually. But let's get to the important part of this synth, the sound engine. This is a virtual analog synth. It's a computer simulation or analog modeler, if you will. There are 64 write-protected preset patches to choose from, and those same sounds are in the 64 user patches, but the user patches can be written over with the custom sounds you create. Like I said, the Gaia uses a three-tone structure, and layering the tones is the key to creating fat sounds out of this bad boy. The subtractive synthesis architecture is quite straightforward. Oscillator, filter, amplifier, and LFO are your basic ingredients. The classic simplicity of the sound engine makes me think this might be a really great synth for musicians who are tired of simply playing presets and want to dive deeper into synthesizer technique, especially when you consider the friendly hands-on controls and great price point. So let's delve a little deeper into the Gaia's three-tone architecture. To edit a patch, you select the tone you want to work on with the Tone button, engage it with the On button, and you're ready to get to work. All the usual analog waveforms are included in your choice of oscillators, including the extra-thick Roland Supersaw wave. A clever touch are the three tonal variations for the oscillators, so when you stack tones, the subtle differences can give you a fatter sound. In terms of envelopes, you've got pitch envelope control at the oscillator level, as well as traditional ADSR envelopes for both the amplifier and the filter. The filter comes in four flavors, low pass, high pass, band pass, and peak, switchable between 24 dB and 12 dB. The filter sounds good. It sounds like Roland has tried to limit the harshness you get at higher resonance values without eliminating the acid squelch you might want from certain high intensity sounds. If the idea of editing all three tones separately sounds a bit daunting, don't worry. You can group all three tones together and edit all at once, or you can copy one tone into another and tweak it. That's a good way to get thick sounds quickly using subtle variations between similar tones. The Gaia also includes four editable effects that you can use at the same time. Delay, reverb, modulation, and distortion. There are two dedicated knobs for editing the most important parameters on the effect you've chosen hit shift, and you can use them for secondary parameters. When you've tweaked the sound to your satisfaction, you can store it in one of the 64 user patches, and if you need more storage space, there's a USB port on the back dedicated to storage, as well as a second USB port for a computer connection. This second USB connection means you can use the Gaia as an audio interface. The Gaia sports a mini jack audio input, so you can add an additional sound source and mix that with the synth audio giving you a simple way to hook up a music player and jam along. I mentioned the D-Beam earlier. This is a gestural controller, like a theremin, that allows you to control pitch, volume, or other parameters. And it's really fun for live performances. There's also a 64 pattern arpeggiator on board. as well as a phrase recorder that allows you to record up to eight bars of your performance and store it in one of eight slots. You can sync up the Gaia's tempo by using the tap tempo button or locking to an external MIDI clock using the USB or MIDI ports. An accessory to consider, especially if you're planning on traveling with the Gaia, is the Roland CB37SY keyboard carrying case. The case is silver with black trim and features backpack style straps and a padded handle. So all told, the Gaia offers a lot of great features for the synth player, whether you're an experienced programmer or just getting into sound tweaking. The numerous knobs and sliders give you fun, intuitive control over parameters without paging through endless menus, while the straightforward three-tone architecture delivers some thick sounds. The arpeggiator, phrase recorder, 
D-beam controller, and the ability to function as a USB audio interface bring added value to the Gaia. For more information on the Roland Gaia SH01 or any of our other synthesizer keyboards, visit us online, give us a call, or stop by our New York City Superstore. Thanks for watching.